Oh, Billy. Oh, very good. Pretty good. Yeah. Um, well, I'm just I'm just going to uh, um, get the shares going. So I would need to raise some money to pay the private investigator. So he'll t he'll take about two or three days, I think, to to bring all the files back out. Yes. That's for Cook Street and okay. uh, and anything else. But I'll just uh, focus on that because he's he's got the full history on it. And so, and I so, uh, eh? Okay. That's Bundy. Um, uh, just calling me. Um, so, I uh, just want to catch up with him where we are. I've got to keep on this um, um, Cook Street case because he started on it. Um, Graham Allen, and I want to keep with him all the way. Uh, it's a serious matter, <clears throat> and one that the British, um, British um, Scotland Yard should be onto, because it does affect them and us with our relationship with this flag and Britain. Uh, and now we are legally a um, entity with the Paramount Chiefs. Uh, so today is um, Friday the 6th of October 2017. The days are counting down towards the 28th of October. I'm hoping by, by then we'll have everything in place uh, with the Whakamininga and also with the um, funding uh, for the uh, private investigator to try and get everything done quick smart. There's no no need to um, no need to um, take too long now because uh, the case uh, is more than anything solved. All the information is there, and um, so there's no no need to hold up anything uh, other than where we are at with the Tiunga Waka Marae Native. Magistrate Court. Now that does matter when we have the original landowners now and all the information to go with a property that has been breaking the laws of this country and it's about a state of emergency. This flag is a state of emergency right over the country because all the titles will be corrupted by this government in Wellington and John Key and Helen Clark before that, and now Bill English is carrying on their legacy of fraud and corruption of the justice system that hasn't worked for us, and especially for me in the uh, Auckland District Court. We did go and see them and take this book, this um, um, magistrate court book there. I've got a number of these books I have put together over the years with land titles and extreme conditions of fraud. There you have John Key in a picture. These pictures, as far as we're concerned, are real in our world. And the power note, the trillion power note that's on their heads with the two chiefs here, Ongi Heka and Tira Waikato Whare Hede Hede Manukau. So this is really the declaration of war here in 2012. Uh, we were at a state of war with uh, the Maori government in this country. <coughs> Still is. And this picture of Waitangi Marae with me there, opening that magistrate court in Waitangi Marae. At five o'clock in the morning you can see it's dark, and Kingi Taurua and uh, Hohepa Ebiha there, Hohepa in his quarterway. Um, so these are a real situation, and annex. Annex is a pe keep paying their bill all the time for these invoices that are billing the uh, perpetrators or the lawbreakers and that one's for John Key invoice. So it's got an amount there and they have to pay it, I'm afraid.
Chadwick's, um, and here, this invoice here. So, <coughs> so the Chiefs have got these books, and it's going right through the world online. They're, they're holding them accountable, all of the um, corrupted corporate uh, crown agents, and this book has really and truly got them tied up in knots, uh, and they're not going to get away with it that easy. There's John Key there, and information on him, and so the private investigator will get this book. I'm going to send it to him on the weekend, and he has libel there in New Zealand there, okay, as a director. He's carried this bank fraud, the, um, um, the um, Panama Papers, bank fraud with him all the way through the years, and uh, that's going to amount to treason. He's committed treason, and this is the pound note for Cook Street, 2.715800 billion, right there. That's just the land, that's not the people. They've got a trillion on their heads, but I'm going to put this one through first <coughs> to kick it off because that note is sitting in the bank and the trillion pound note is sitting in the bank and the 970 million trillion trillion pound note there with Jamie and I. I've got that in with the King uh, Ernest Augustus V now uh, that goes alongside that one at 970 million trillion trillion pounds. That's the hit bill against all those people that are named in this book. Okay, so it's got it stamped. I'm just biding my time waiting for Bundy to ring back. He's got somebody on the phone, so wait for him to ring back in a minute. While I get on with this, I'm just going through Scotland at the moment. Um, just looking for better, better to get a place out in the countryside where we can have our office rather than in the city. I'd rather have it in the countryside. Um, so that's what Jackie has, Jackie Little Gordon has suggested. Now oh, there's Aberdeen's, Aberdeen, Aberdeen's up that way. Um, so I'm just looking at the map of uh, Scotland up towards Aberdeenshire. Because that's where they are, Aberdeenshire. The right always forget the name. Um, Stonehaven, Dundee, Edinburgh. Oh, Edinburgh is down and Glasgow's across that side. Ah, I see Glasgow. And where's Ireland? Belfast. Ah, oh, there's Belfast. Oh, that's where I wanted to go. So I'm best to go with Glasgow and stick the turbines. Belfast, Isle of Man. Now, that's something. That's where I should be, Isle of Man. Liverpool, uh huh. So I'm best to go. I'm trying to find where's the best place to go. There's. Um, Dunbar, Edinburgh, Dundee, or oh, Aberdeen shows way the hell up the other way. Oh dear. I want to come down. I want to come down to Glasgow, Irvine. Aya, Aya. Isle of Aran. Firth of Simon. I want to be Belfast. I want to put the turbines between Belfast and um, Scotland. Isle of Man. No, that's too far. I've got a little pool across the other side. So I'm best to go to Isle of Ran. Yeah, Isle of Ran. Isle of Ran. Yeah, I'll have ran. I want to find the 
best place to go to is Isle of Mull. It's too far up. I want to stay around and power up um, Firth of Clyde. Clyde. Firth of Clyde. Irvine. Isle of Iran. Iran. Isle of Iran. Okay. Isle of Iran. That's where I want to go. Isle of Iran. Isle of Iran. Yeah. Isle of Iran. Isle of Iran. Campbell Town. Campbell Town. I want a place where it's not far to get the power into Glasgow, Edinburgh. Oh shucks, I could have gone on the old Edinburgh side. But there's no my islands out there. No, it's not far to fly from Isle of Rain, Kimbleton. Kimbleton. This is where <coughs> this is this is where <coughs> to be for turbines. In all the turbines in all of Ryan. Bundy, I'll switch this video off until you ring me back. I thought you might have rang back by now. But I'm going up to Turner's to pick Turner's auctions. I got a, a two sets of um, keyboards and two mouses for one dollar in the, in the auction. And I'm just waiting to get my monitor. It's coming at $25. $10 to deliver it and $15 for a monitor, a big one, 23 inch. But I paid 20 bucks, 5 bucks for that, and 15 bucks for the mouse. I've got lots of mouses. I've got three mouses. Uh, and for the other two computers, so I can set up three computers and flick from one to the other um, and split all my work out. Uh, okay, so. 
Bundy, you're not ringing. And I'm going to go out soon. I'm going to the pick my, my keyboards up. But I'm just getting <coughs> Scotland sorted. <coughs> we am going to <coughs> get a property, <coughs> several property for sale in campus. Clackmanshire. <coughs> it's a big place. Uh, it's better to have offices in Ryland and Paddock so we can have lots of people around. Oh, that one disappeared, might be gone, I think. Um, so no, it's still there. Oh, that's. No, that's not it. I think it's off the market. It's taken off. Um, well, I can't see it there. I think they withdrew it off the market. Um, so there's only Jackie, the only one I'm interested in, if we hurry up, is a... private country house, two reception rooms, conservatory, sunroom, 16 acres, 7,600 square feet. Uh, that one, Brankstone House, or oh, lots of land, oh, lots of land, so we can jam a few things up and, and, and long enough for an air, airfield. I want a land there. I want, I want, I want a big farm. Ocean Bowie House, five reception rooms. Nine bedrooms and four bathrooms, 97.5 acres. Big property to look after and maintain. Wops, 1.825 million pounds. Sounds like the right one. Um, but uh, it's got plenty of. I've got to look at the lay of the land so I can see build an airport to fly a private jet in there. Um, 70 acres, Sashi Home Farm, Sterling, <coughs> 1.1 million, kitchen, family room, dining, sitting rooms, four bedrooms, two on seats, 70 acres, <coughs> not big enough, I want, I want a, um, conference rooms, I need conference rooms, so a lot of people can be there, at least 50 people in the conference room. It's better in the countryside so you can have nice meals, plenty of place to walk around, <coughs> than in the city. <coughs> <coughs> so the only one that's looking any good um, too big. Oh, this is a better one. Brankstone House, private country house, highest quality of contemporary interiors, two reception rooms, conservatory, sunroom, 16 acres, that's better, not too big. 16 acres, I'll get a runway, I'll get a runway right in front of the place. It's like a land straight there and put a big uh, hangar up. So where's that one? I'll, I'll, just, I'll just open it up and have a look. I'm just looking at property in Scotland where we're going to um, locate rather than in the city. There's not much room to move around in the city. Frankstone House is a private secure setting of 16 acres. The setting is very central compared to major cities in central Scotland. Five miles southwest it gives motorway access to Stirling, Glasgow and Edinburgh. There we go. Edinburgh can also be reached via Dunfermline. Line. Two story stone built house which sits on landscape gardens and has been refurbished to the highest standards. Present owners to create an outstanding. Hmm. Guest cottage <coughs> opposite with a large living room. So that's that's a guest cottage cottage. I'll just Whack a hotel up there. 
Okay, that's the one, Jackie. Put it in front on the side. And there it lies. Okay, that's the one. Probably canvas. That's not the one. Oh, where'd it go? Extra. Well, I didn't get the right one. in this video, wasting my video, hang on, I'll find that place again, we're sorry about your search, we should know about this, And it's sight. Wow. Okay. Bundy, where are you? I like to put the site in. That's a wonderful place. That looks really wonderful. I think they'll like that. Okay, that's the one. Right, we're going to turn this video off because Bunny's not there. So, um, leave it out there for now. Today I'll be doing the shares on the um, website. So, you'll see some happenings on the front page of the MoaiPowerhouse.com site. 
uh, with um, uh, the share application. So if anybody wants any shares, um, um, fill out the form on the front and it'll go into our website, our, our email site, um, or you can put £25 straight into the account, the ANZ account, or any amount you want. Uh, other than that, you can wait till the buttons work, uh, one or the other, but I'd suggest um, any method will do to get you your £25 free share. You need to buy one share for £25 and uh, that's all you'll need to um, um, get uh, to um, and a mobile phone. We need a mobile phone and some details because we don't want your claim funding going somewhere else. Okay, that's all. Uh, we'll leave it at that for now until I get on to it. Bye. Today's um, Friday, the 6th of um, October 2017.